waves and holograms and how movement is recorded in those records. The like when we do something, is that is that wave pattern in existence forever? Obviously it's gonna be it's gonna change over time, but it's always sort of there. So like, oh, sorry. So like, I'm listening. So technical. Can you grab a charger? Yeah. So that I can just hold this. I think it'll be the best recording. Yeah, I think I have a here. Great. So, what kind of, um, what are your meditations in you know, meditation, a, a lot of people say that it's this thing that you sit down and do, but meditation is always. We're always meditating. Always. Always. Right. Always. Always. Just now we are meditating. We are. I think that that's a big misconception in the... with, with many who, who practice meditation even, that I'm going to go meditate. <laughs> but, you know what? <laughs> no, I don't meditate. Right. I, I live my life. Right. My, my thing is karma yoga. It means the things that are in front of me are steps of my path. It's funny how there's the paradox and balance between thoughts, you know, mindfulness and yeah. and no mind or no thoughts and clear mind. Mindfulness ha is has benefits and so does a clear mind. So they work together. Is that the yin yang? No, they're both the same. Right. So is the yin yang just a representation of duality that is not real? Listen, it's all real. Right. right. Well, I feel like. Yeah.
It's the... Yes, I am. Yeah, there's the saying that the soul is not in the body, the body is in the soul. Are stars, do stars communicate with each other on just a larger scale? Like, are, do, you, do you think stars are souls just, you know, because as above, so below, as without, so within. So, do you think that the yeah. universe and the stars are all, you know, they're just different levels of life? Yes. Yeah. So it's like opening your heart is like allowing your 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 imprint, your magnetic imprint, to shift. Well, I picture like a toroid of energy, uh, like a, a 
torus of energy. It's kind of like the Earth's magnetic field, kind of rolling around everything, kind of twisting through it in the center as your dynamo, your, your core, so that the intricacies within that field are manipulated by the heart. So the more open your heart is, the more we're able to communicate and connect with other life. So if inner, you know, inner and outer are ultimately the same, but we can but some people get caught up in looking too much outside and not, so but ultimately if we're aware and conscious of the fact that what what we are experiencing outside of us is inside of us, then yes. it's okay. I mean, I don't know if I would call it the same, because if you look across the room at a bunch of mold, or if you eat a bunch of mold, it's different. Than you? How? Well, I mean, you perpetuating is different than you, so I guess you are the same, obviously, your vibration is affecting everything around you.
quantum physics, the, the, I mean, isolated systems don't really exist. So, and particle waves are existing in multiple places at once in the same way that human beings and different souls are different manifestations of one. It's exciting about the, did you hear about the Entheon that, you know, Alex Gray? Yeah, he, I know. Yeah, they're, they're building a, a beautiful temple in, in New York, yeah. Where? Uh, in the farm, farmland in New York. Oh, that's awesome. And it's ama what's, what's great about that as kind of a microcosm, you know, and cosm is what is their thing, <laughs> Chapel of Sacred Mirrors. And so they're like a microcosm showing how a crowd can come together and harness their collective resources in order to build this common vision. Because they use crowdfunding to make it happen. Yeah. And that's happening. So many people are doing great projects like that now, just finding alignment in ideas, and then everybody gives a little energy. spiraling, I would think that it coils and goes up. And down, and probably. core? Like, well, do you think that ultimately the field? Earth is going to become an, an, sorry? So, the Earth's magnetic field must be like a 3D representation of solar consciousness. Yeah. Well, the, the Earth's magnetic field, the, the shape, the toroid, it could be a three-dimensional perception of a vortex field. No, right, you're saying Earth is a 3D representation of the higher dimensional solar or cosmic consciousness. So, it, you know, like people, I heard a cool idea that Earth, you know, first people thought the Earth was flat. Then we realized it was round, and now we're going to realize that it's a, we are just on one plane of one dimensional plane of consciousness or well ultimately we exist on many planes at the same time but this world that we're you know it's kind of in mostly right now is a 3d plane that you know and so in this space that we're in now there's also all these other dimensions happening that we can or cannot yeah
Yeah. Is laughter like a? <laughs> it's it's a vibration, but is that kind of like when? I feel like there's something special about when we laugh, and that means something on, on other scales, because it's one of the most blissful things we can do. Is it like, oh, thanks, um, like it's like a, a bubbling, like a, a sublimation, like, like your digestive juice is turning into gas, and it's like, ha, ha, ha I don't know, maybe. What? Like, like, um, like, je like methane or carbon dioxide, um, or just hydrogen, I suppose, helium. Obviously, that thing, yes. Well, where's the line? Because Ian talks a lot about, like, elements and science and, you know, a lot of different forms of matter. Where is the... I know there is no line, but you have energy and you have natural elements of the Earth and other in you know, the universe. Where, where does the wave and particle... There's a hazy area in between the difference of them, because they're the same. It depends on what direction they spin. Uh, one direction they become a positive charge, the other direction they become negative. And the positive ones, obviously, then what we think of as conventional mass. And it's like you can change the spin at will. Yeah. There's like a perceptual resistance to it, but it's that you're able to like just disperse energy. So, do waves travel? Yeah, for example, science has the scientist in it.
So are you saying many scientists ha forget that they're a part of the experiment? Yes. Yes. Right. But some scientists are, are waking up. We are. We're, are. How do you define a scientist? Is everybody a scientist? Because everybody is every label. Because we're, we're not singular, we're not roles. Like you were saying. So we are everything. Or we're a part of everything. Part of everything. Right. And I think that's where people, maybe, there's a clash, because some people try to say, you know, we, we are, we're a part of it, and if we say we are it, that's like a little bit too much, but we, we are it, but we're a part of it too. Well... It's not too much, but I think that... <laughs> I don't think so. No, I, it, it's okay, but I think that, like, you know, like, when you, when you heard me say, like, yes, we're a part of it, because, like, we want to acknowledge that we're, you know, we're not the whole thing, because there's so much more than we even know. Because our bo our bodies, these bodies may not know everything, but the so this, we this, yeah this, right this this yeah this subjectively subjectively knows everything. Sometimes it's interesting to just breathe and experience people around the world on the internet just almost silently. I, th I, you know, I don't know how much time we have, but I'd like to just do, a, you know, maybe a couple minutes just of breathing before we hang up. Do you want to uh, shoot? It's, uh, uh, it's five forty seven. I'll, I'll be in. It doesn't matter. They'll call me up for supper. Okay. But I would think that I that I'm scared to you know. <laughs> here. We are here. Yeah. It's funny that you called me today because actually somebody sent me a message asking they were just asking me a question, you know, what is a good introduction to meditation book? And I thought, you know, oh, I don't know, you don't need a book to meditate, but I said, be here now. And, and I hadn't heard, I hadn't, you know, we, we hadn't talked in like a year, and I just think that that's, I, I love synchronicities, I love when there's just connections that pop up. So, so you thought of me and I just had to call you. 
So are yours. So are yours. My question is, what's the difference between a clear mind and a full mind? Well, the difference between a clear mind and a full mind is it So, you get like full mind, you're not able to see with your eyes? Or it becomes more difficult? Is, is, will distract you. So, like, for, that's because everyone teaches this mindfulness, and I feel like the fullness. There is a fullness in emptiness. There is a wide open expanse of never ending expansion that rips you apart. And it doesn't do that because it's nothing. It does that because it's infinitely dense vacuum or megalopical. Yes, right. That's that's the this. Oh yeah. uh, goes inside of you. Is it, So like, you clear your field and the density of space goes within and expands? It's not a thing, but it's everything. That's exactly yes. <laughs> Oh, it's a pattern of a, 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 a movement. It's just a, your soul is a pattern of movement. Yeah. 
Right, it doesn't, it, it doesn't have a pattern, but it also yeah. does have patterns. So it's like awareness is experiencing order and chaos. Yes. Experience is, is, is something to, to th think about and not think about. But it's... <laughs> I feel like I always have to say the other polarity, like, it, it satisfies my soul to speak in ways that encompass the everything and nothing, and if I say something, I want to say the other thing, and it's like, here and there, it's just, you know, mo so much conversation is just one side. So, degrees of nature, you're seeing more than 360, uh, it's like you're going into it, and around it, and through it, uh, and, and uh, you know, like, and you're seeing it from every perspective as you go around it. Yes, 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 yes. And, and it's like, you're, you're just a, a, a beam of light that is perceiving in every direction outward, and a sphere perceiving every direction inward. Love, yeah. I love how, you know, in, you know the song Strawberry Fields? That's a great one. And how, you know, it talks about nothing is real, but then, you know, everything is real. Like, Philip K. Dick had a great idea that was saying, you know, everything you ever thought is true. So that's like every thought we ever had, every imagination is all in existence somewhere. It is reality somewhere. And at the same time, so you know, we just love to play going back and forth between, you know, jazzing on ideas of illusion and then idea reality and illusion are kind of like a coil, like each is one side of the coil. Can we play you some things on the guitar? Sure. Yeah, let me do a quick one. And then you can. I love to play with harmonics.
This is called, We Will Live On.
I, I, I loved I loved Fierce Grace and I wanted to ask you a question about it. You in you said that when you had when you were stroked that it was alarming for you because you didn't experience what you thought you would experience. That that it, it didn't seem like Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed like you said that you didn't feel like you saw a light, you didn't feel like you were going into some other world. What, what did you feel like? No, it was before the stroke. I had a grace life. Grace. When did you find faith again after the stroke? Could you say that? Thank you. 
isn't the mind like a bridge between the body and consciousness? Because the mind can be, it can get in our way, but it can also lead us to consciousness. I, th I like to think of it as a bridge between the the. Yes, it is. It is a bridge. It is a bridge. It is a bridge. It's well, a bridge between uh, infinite love, infinite power, and this. So it's like the way you configure your mind, either you're bringing uh, love and consciousness into your body, or you can block it out. Yes. 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 Wow. 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 Yes. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys are your consciousness. Wow. Well, we love talking to you, and I'd, I'd love to um, keep making contact and w I'd love to make some more contributions to you know love serve remember and and we'll we'll keep keep communicating Much love. Much love. See you. Peace and love. I didn't know. Did he have a stroke a long time ago? Ten years. Oh, okay. You've seen videos of him before, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, Ron's fucking shit. I want to go meditate in Hawaii. Yeah, we got to go visit him. Yeah, we said. He visited us. He visited us, man. Then we visited I can't him. believe Ron Das just called my cell phone. Yeah, he's shit. We were like in a deep moment of consciousness. And yeah. With all of you. Wait, excuse me? Who just... <laughs> Ram Dass? Dude, we had some beautiful moments on there. That was awesome. Maybe we should cut it up and get a serve or just put it up raw, I guess. Well, we gotta put it up raw just in case anything happens to it. Uh, that's true. Preserve it. Yeah, we'll say. The moment. It really brings me and grounds me. Dude, everything he, you know, he just is unwavering from truth. You know, he knows, and it doesn't matter what he doesn't get caught up in BS. You know, he just the, the specifics of all the scientific proof and. It doesn't matter to him. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he was a got his PhD with McKenna? Uh, no, with Timothy Leary. Tim, who's? I don't even know. You don't know Timothy Leary? I, mean, I just know that name. I don't know. Dude, he's the guy, you know. I mean, he's, well, he and Timothy, Timothy Leary did, they were both Harvard professors. 
doing acid experiments. He took like hundreds of hits of acid in like a year. Daily for like a year. Many hit I mean, he was tripping for a year at Harvard, just like recording. <laughs> That's the most, like that statement in itself is the is like a big great embodiment of like who he is. Like he tripped on acid for a year straight as a approved Harvard study. Like, if you have to be such a genius to pull that off, it's fucking brilliant. In you the know? 60s? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it was easier in the 60s. So that's when they were at it? Yeah, yeah. They were at Harvard in the 60s? Yeah. That must be pretty interesting. They should bring it back and do more research on this. I think that he's past acid now. Or just somebody should bring it back. Oh, right. Yes, it's not perfect. It's no. good, though. Yeah, it's good. It's clean. It feels clean. It depends. Yeah, it's clean acid. It's clean acid. LSD is a brilliant... I love LSD. Yeah. Man. Dude, it, it's just, uh... It makes me feel connected to... You know, I think that we're on an okay track if we know that Ram Dass can, we can be wowed by his consciousness and he can be wowed by our consciousness. Consciousness. Like he said it, he's like, wow. That's awesome. So awesome. It's a lot of really simple things. Oh, Ram. Oh yeah, he said a couple, two, a couple things where I was just like, like it was just like washing over me like a wave, like, right? And then his face was like, <laughs> I know, like he'll just like when he like comes on the arms, he's like, I think when you were recording before, it cut off. From my desk, from my webcam, I know it did. No, no, not, not from your webcam, from my phone. I don't, was it recording? Oh, the webcam recorded the whole thing.